Hi, let's talk about some lipsticks without any hair, metal parts, beads or other problems. Any problems at all with them. These are from Estee Lauder and these are the Pure Colour Desire Rouge Excess Lipsticks. So first we had the Pure Colour Lipsticks, then we had the Pure Colour Envy Lipsticks, then we had the Pure Colour Matte Envy Sculpting Lipsticks, also the shine ones. Then we had the Pure Colour Love Lipsticks, then we had the Pure Colour Envy Paint on Liquid Lip Colours, and we have the Pure Colour Love Liquid Lip Colours. Now we're having Pure Colour Desire Rouge Excess. Stop already. Move on. Give it a new name. Call it Estee Lauder Desire Rouge Excess. Enough. Why Pure Colour? Even Too Faced doesn't do chocolate bar palettes right now. So move on. That's one thing that I didn't like about it. So this one comes in two finishes, cream and chrome. And there are 16 shades. Four are chrome and the rest are all cream. These cost $44 each. And they come in the regular Estee Lauder navy blue external packaging. But inside is where the magic happens. This is the packaging inside. Absolutely gorgeous. Feels very, very heavy. Here's a close up. So I have three shades that I'm going to swatch really quickly and then demo even quickly. So the first one is Overdue, which is a fuchsia. Let's do that here. Now what makes these different is that apparently these are the lipsticks with the maximum amount of pigment from a stale order. These contain 25% pigment. The name of the brand is engraved on top. Very nice. The next one is a chrome and is called Unspeakable. The shade that I wanted was called Sweeten and was out of stock. That is Unspeakable. Next, we have the shade Sting. Sorry, that's here. Which is what I am wearing right now, which I notice darkens after a bit. And it is Dusty Rose, my signature shade. So the reason I bought these was because, you know, I've had a bit of a rough time lately with allergies and allergy to wheat, reactions, steroids and such like, and I wanted a treat, so I treated myself to these. I even had to go to the ER on uh, last Wednesday uh, with a reaction and had to get cortison and antihistamine injections, more and more steroids, which explains why my face is puffier and puffier and I have so much acne. So, on lip swatches next. So let's get the deep one out of the way. This one is overdue. This one is unspeakable and it is a chrome. So that's actually, despite being metallic, very, very neutral. This one is Sting. So it goes on paler and it darkens afterwards. Hang on. Obviously that one is your dusty rose and it will darken just a bit over time which is something that I really like and it becomes this very very pretty dusty rose right up my alley. So these are the last word in creamy. 
and I love how they feel on the lips. The staying part is actually quite good for a bullet lipstick. They stay on for longer than the pure color love lipsticks. Uh, they stay on as much as the non-sortaceous lipsticks, I would say, you know, for comparison. And if you are a fan of Urban Decay Rush, you will love Estee Lauder Sting. Beautiful shade. Very, very close to Rush, actually. So if you are looking for drama-free lipsticks with no hair beads, particles, glass, fibre, fuzz or any other problems or controversy, new stock, new quality control issues whatsoever, drama-free as I said, then the Estee Lauder Pure Colour Desire Rouge Excess Lipsticks. I only don't like the very long handle, they should have called it Estee Lauder Desire Rouge, that's enough. So they are a great choice, $44 each. They come in 16 shades, of which four are chrome and the rest are cream. So those are my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching. Please do remember to hit the subscribe button below and the ring down to ring the notification bell as well so that you stay updated to future videos. So that's all from me for today. I'll speak to you soon.